In this lecture, we're going to be looking at how to use Eclipse and Subclips uh, in order to manage files that we create um, for, for this semester and, and in, in general. Um, the idea of, of uh, Subversion, which is the, the main tool that uh, we'll be using, is to be able to um, keep and manage different versions of files. And this is especially important when and you create a system, uh, and you see this a lot with version numbers. So I create a version of the system, it works, but then I want to add new features. So what do I do? Uh, I don't want to destroy the things that I did before, and what happens if I make modifications and it breaks things? Well, I want to be able to go back to the original version and use that. So that's what we'll be using um, subclips uh, and, and subversion for this semester. Uh, you'll actually be a, a, turning in all of your assignments using um, subversion within Eclipse. Rather than creating zip files and submitting those, you'll do, you'll do source level um, uh, of uh, management of all of, your, all of your files. So there's two operations that I want to um, do. One is I want to show you how to check out items, and then I want to show you how to create new um, repositories and check those in and manage those. So let's start with the, uh, uh, the latter of those first. So I've created my Hello World program. We've seen this uh, a bunch of times. Um, I want to actually add this to SVN. Now there's, a <clears throat> there's an SVN repository view within Eclipse. Um, if, you, if it doesn't already show up on your version, uh, you can go to um, Other and then select SVN Repository Exploring. And then that'll bring up a view of the SVN repository. Now, I've already been using SVN. Let me actually close this. Um, See, so yeah, I guess I can't actually close. But uh, uh, in order to add an SVN repository to your view, you're going to use this, uh, this button here. We're adding an SVN repository. And then uh, the system should authenticate for you. So. Let me see if there's a way to actually, oh, here, I can discard the location here. Don't finish. And then actually, because I've already authenticated once, it actually is authenticated for me already. So <clears throat> there's, um, there's a way for me to be able to add repositories. I've actually already added one here before. Let me just delete this one and see if that works. Yeah, okay. Example. Okay, so anyway, so this browser lets you see all the different projects that you're already managing within SVN. Um, I've obviously got a number of them here. All right, but the, the main thing that we want to be able to do right now is we want to be able to add an SVN repo or a project to SVN. So I'm going to do that by uh, right-clicking on my project and then going to Team and Share a Project. And it's going to ask me to select a repository type. I'm going to select SVN. And then select the repository. I have an existing one here, so I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to specify a folder name and select the location of where I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this under 274. Just reading those. Fall 11. And actually, I'm just going to select that directory and click on OK. And then it's uh, appended assignment one because that's the name of my assignment. Okay, so let's click on next. It's an initial import. You can put any other comment that you want in here. Um, I'm just going to, uh, let me say, example for assignment one. And click on finish. And then uh, let's see, I, do I want, yes, let's, so let's take a look at how this actually all played out once I added it. 
So um, we have our assignment one. So this is these are all the files that it's uh, it's managing within uh, SVN. At some point, uh, I want to actually do what's called uh, a commit of my files to uh, to SVN. Um, but anyway, at the moment, you know, I have uh, I have everything started for doing this. Let me go to there's a repository browser, and let's see what uh, what this tells us about our current setup. Two seventy four, eleven, and so it shows assignment one in here. Uh, but it does show it as as blank because we haven't actually done anything to actually commit. Um, our files, which committing basically is uh, the way that we uh, that we save our files into um, into SVN. So uh, anyway, at the moment, uh, everything is just sort of uh, we we just sort of have our initial files. I'm going to make you know some changes here. I'm going to call this version zero point one. And make this copyright. Miami University, and we'll save that. And now I want to actually commit my files. So um, I'm going to go to the actual view of the uh, of the project, um, which was our last view here. This <coughs> team synchronization. Um, view and then I'm going to select commit all outgoing changes. So uh, this is my change version and copyright and then shows me all the files that are actually going to be modified um, <clears throat> and so I'm going to just check in everything. Click on OK. Okay, so now all of my files have been added, and if we go back to this repository viewer, actually this is the wrong thing. Actually, I th think that I must have closed it. Let's go to this repository browser. This is external to uh, this is external to to Eclipse. Actually, I, I'll show you this to you in Eclipse as well. Uh, but you see here that uh, file, the assignment one has been added. The source files are there. Um, the source files should have assignment one. And actually, let's look at this in Eclipse also. SVN repository. Uh, we should do a refresh here. And there's assignment one. And there's all my files that I added. So anyway, that's... Uh, that's the, the brief introduction. I will show you uh, in a next uh, podcast how to actually uh, download items uh, that uh, are in uh, Eclipse, or sorry, in SVM.